it is related with the uh, uh, GStreamer utility. So if you are not uh, interested in GStreamer, so it's hard time for you. <laughs> Hi, I'm Wan Chan Lee, and I spent a research engineer over three years at LG Electronics, and I started my job at LG Electronics. And I had no experience about the media and GStreamer when I just started. But now I'm developing GStreamer on WebOS TV over three years. And like this man in this picture, I don't, I don't know how it works or how it does not work. GStreamer is too, too huge and complicated, so I couldn't understand it for a while. I spent lots of time to solve the problems, and I had and I'm having trial and errors. Uh, based on this experience, I'm going to talk about uh, three kinds of debugging method before I start talking about the path proof. Those are log message and dot prep and GDB. Uh, the first one is log message. Uh, it's first way using when I start to debug. Uh, log message is clue for tracking the pipeline behavior and it can specify the which what model do you want to see or which category do you want to see and if you don't know which module or category you what, what you want to see then uh, you may get a hundred of thousand of log messages so it's very huge amount of messages so it's hard to find what What's the problem? And second is dark graph. The background image is uh, uh, playbin pipelines dark graph part of the playbin. Mm. Uh, at first, I it's hard to imagine the whole pipeline shape, and I guess the pipeline shape by by the reader low messages. But sometimes it was wrong. Uh, at the time, it dark graph is helpful for me. So that graph helped to us to visualize the pipeline and it is easy to know the analyze the inside of the pipeline and each of LM space. And this is a simple that graph. Uh, there is some two elements. Left one is a uh, audio test source and right one is fake sync. And these elements are linked together on that path. So you can see uh, the shape of the pipeline by this dot graph, and even you can check the property of on their elements. If uh, left one order passes, there is on block size and number of buffers information, and you can check the their own property. And if even you can check the elm states and head activation and play a task. So lots of information you can get this from that graph. So, and it is, that graph is a helpful tool when you have a problem for constructing, constructing a while, pipeline constructing. Uh, at that time, to sure make the error that, error that graph shape, then you can easily find out where is error is happened, or, or sometimes now. And third is a GDB. It is maybe I think all of you are well know about it. It is very powerful debugger, and it allows to you see what's going on inside of the pipeline, and you can start the pipeline and specify anything that uh, might affect its behavior, and you can make your pipeline stop on a specific condition, and you can examine what has happened when your pipeline has stopped. And even you can change things in your pipeline so you can experiment with correcting the effects of one bug and go on learn about another. Uh, we can debug almost every issues with different kinds of way. Log message, path prep, and GDB. Uh, now I'm going to talk about the path proof. I will show you a survey research. I asked my colleague 
which way do you prefer when you do debug JSON pipeline? So the result is 100% of my colleagues prefer to use long methods. Uh, the number of respondents is less than 10 people, but they said it is long method is fast to debug and easy to know which component has a problem, but it has a and this advantage. It is hard to verify the data on a specific situation. It means it is not good enough to debug timing issue on the pipeline. So, so now I'm going to talk about path proof. Uh, I'm not going to tell you path proof is the best way to debug, so, but I just want to add one more option to debug. The reason why I talk about path proof, so uh, as you see, most of my colleagues are not use path proof, but it is very helpful way to debug or developing pipeline. So my purpose is interesting path proof for you to you and for uh, it, it, it is for the GStream developer and the beginner. Yeah. Uh, as following the documents. Path proof is a best envisioned as a path reasoner. Uh, path proof is a just just callback a test <coughs> on the path, and it has it defines four kinds of activities notification: buffer, event, query, and block. Four four activities. Three activity buffer, event, query are related with the data flow. And the other is block. Uh, block this literally means stop the data flow on the path. So and you can attach a path by using just path add proof function, and it has five parameters. The first one is path, which what you want to prove, and second is type, and you can specify the which type of proof you can. Do. And third one is callback function, and fourth is a uh, user data for passing to the callback function, and fifth is a display notify. It is for the user data after use of uh, use of the user data. It is if you need to uh, free the memory or resource allocation resource allocation, then you need to free their memories. Here and uh, similarly, when you remove the proof, you can use just path remove proof functions. It, it needs to ID of proof. ID is when you uh, return uh, add proof function to return value is just proof proof ID. So you can remove it by using this function. And there is a, this is a old type of proof. There's a, it is consists of 22 kinds of types. Uh, these things are related with the block. And this thing is proper, and events query. And a lot of things are there. And let's see the middle of the type. This type is data downstream. And it is combined uh, multiple type of uh, multiple types. Because when you use this type, you can put <coughs> downstream data, buffer and list and events. So you can you can prove three type three kinds of type. Mm. And I'm going to tell you more <coughs> detail about the type in another slide. Then mm. let's see the how the proof works on the path. These are these are elements, two elements, and uh, on the elements there's each of their pad. And let's assume that each pad are linked together. Then, if you want to prove on on a certain pad, you can add proof on the pad. And uh, below circle pad proof callback means that pad proof callback is registered on the on the pad. So. If the 
data is coming on the path, if the data is what you want to prove, in that case, uh, people handle, handling the data on the path, have full callback, catch that data, and in that callback function, you, you, have, you can do what you want to do on that data. So you can inspect the data and modify the data and or drop the data like that before arriving the path. And then callback is returned. Then data is go to path and path can handle the data and it may be passed to another path. It is how the uh, when the path proof callback is uh, happen. Now let's talk about the four kinds of path proof activities. First one is buffer. Uh, buffer is handle the buffer received on the path, and you can specify pool or pooled buffer. It is it is a different scheduling mode, and you can inspect or modify or drop the buffer by using this. And here is the type of latent buffer. Uh, you can prove the single buffer or a list of buffer, <coughs> and you can choose the scheduling mode, push push mode or pull mode. If you want both of mode, then you can use type scheduling. Uh, let's see the example. This is very simple example. Okay. I made a simple example for it. Uh, it is very, very simple. Uh, what I want to do in this simple test program, uh, I drop, drop the buffer on a certain condition by using path proof. On the main function, I make the pi pipeline. The name is playbin. And uh, set the URL, the media URL. And I use element added signal for find the what what I wanted to add, wanted to prove. So in this in this callback, uh, this callback is called when the pipeline inside of the pipeline there uh, a new element is added on on the pipeline. Then in that case, this callback is called, and inside of this callback, I find the uh, MPEG audio parse element that so I can I can get the source pad of it and add a proof. So I add a proof on the MPEG audio parse element source pad and specify the type is buffer and register proof function. So if the buffer is arrived on the audio MPEG audio parse element source pad. The, this callback is called, and inside of this callback, I drop the buffer. If the condition is matched with this, uh, the buffer offset is bigger than 4096 and, and smaller than 8192. Then print, print the log, and return the GS can proof drop. You can drop the drop the buffer by using this return type. And if the buffer offset is bigger than this, I remove the proof. As I as I told you, path proof can remove the just path proof remove proof API, but you can remove like this return type. It is easier than the API. So I want to show uh, how it runs, but now on my on my back it, it is some problem, so I cannot show how how it runs. I just only show that it's code. Yeah. So it is all about the related with buffer and. Let's talk about another one. The second is event. Event is notified of 
events received on a path, uh, it can specify event upstream or downstream. Uh, upstream and downstream is a uh, direction of the pipeline. Uh, by default, flush events do not cause a notification. So if you want to through flush event, you can spec you can put the type of flush event. And you you can also inspect and modify dropped events. And here's the type of the event. Uh, event downstream event and upstream event. And if you want to both of upstream and downstream event, you can use event both. And or if you use prove if you want to prove flush type of event and you can use it. And the uh, third one is query. Uh, query is notified or query received on a pad. Uh, query proof will be notified twice. It is slightly different from another, different with another proof. If you send a query to the pipeline, then query proof will be notified at first. Uh, in addition, if there is an element to the reply to the query, then query proof notified again. So you can check the query result on the pad. And also, it can be inspect or modify or replacing the result of query. And here's the type of the <coughs> query. You can prove downstream query and upstream and both of query. And more example. This is an example for refining the query. I make uh, my own custom query and send it to the pipeline. If there is no element to reply that query, the query will be failed. But I made uh, I attached the proof on on a certain path. So I on on that path query path proof, I reply the query so the query can be succeed in that case. So let's see the code. In the main function, I make a pipeline play bin and set URL. And I use the source setup signal to catch the source as an element point. So in this callback, we can access the source element and get the source pad of source element and add the proof. So this source pad is this should be a source element source pad. Then I put the type of query. Query the direction should be uh, upstream because when you send the query to the pipeline, uh, pipeline send the query the end of the elements in the pipeline. So the query will be go to up upward. And in the proof callback, I can catch query query on pass to the source path and check the condition. And if the query type is custom query and query has a query name is test query, this one is what I what I made. I made the query. This one is for making the query. I made a query, this query name is test query, and send to the elements. And if, if query is succeed, then I'll get some value. The name is field one. So if, pad, if the pad has received the query, then it should be set the result of query here. Field one. It uh, in this callback. I set the field one value to ten by using this structure API. So I return the JS path drop 
uh, in case in the buffer case, when I return the just maybe drop, the buffer will be dropped. But in query case, I if you return the just maybe group drop, uh, query will be returned. If you if you're not, uh, the query will be failed. Okay. It's it's about all. It's about the old query. And fourth is block. Block proof is different from the previous proof. It is usually when you constructing or manipulating pipelines. And uh, block is the block block proof is block the data flow when your <coughs> callback returns. And you can remove it. When the pad is become unblocked, uh, one of one of in case uh, when you remove the probe, it is unblocked, or you can remove it by return the just pad to remove return value. So here is the type of the block and this type type block is on this case, head is blocked when the pad received the stream on certain events. So it has an if the that event is a stream start. And the next type is type idle. If you use this type, as soon as you add a proof, immediately pipe, uh, pad is blocked. So if you use this type of block, you can manipulate the pipeline when the pipeline is blowing. So you can change the pipeline dynamically. And it, it also has the direction. Uh, you can select the direction, block downstream or upstream. Uh, let's see the simple example. Uh, I put them placing bin. This bin used the hand proof block. And if uh, Pad is requested and added, and as soon as pad is added, uh, block proof is added on the pad. So, in this case, I uh, the stream start event is, when the stream start event is arrived, the pad, and then pad is blocked, and this pad is linked to uh, before the before elements, yeah, previous element. And then, if data is uh, data is flow, then and pad pad receive the stream start event, then pad is blocking. So the pipeline is stopped. And then, placing configured inside of the bin, uh, video bin and audio bin and text bin. So like this. You can delay the construction timing of the pipeline or manipulating pipeline by using this block. And after finishing the constructor, construct, construction, you can remove the probe, then data is really going to the inside of the pipeline. Yeah. Until now, uh, I'm talking about the path proof. Uh, I didn't tell you the more detail about the path proof, and but I hope that all of you are, if you are a GCM developer, you are interested in path proof, if, and if you use it, I can feel free, feel good, and feel great, and it is very useful. Thank you.